Hello and welcome to the My Plants app. An app designed for casual plant collectors and experienced botanists alike. Let's have a little route around the app. Now let's proceed to the sign up screen. A user can create a new account by inputting a username, name, email and password here. When I click sign up, all this information is sent to the backend server. Before the data is stored, the server encrypts the password to ensure its security, then the username, name, email and encrypted password are saved in MongoDB. This database stores all the user data in a user's collection, making it easy to retrieve and manage when needed. If a user already has an account, they can simply log in here using their correct details. Then, when the user clicks sign in, the app sends this information to the backing server. The server retrieves their data from MongoDB and compares the password they entered with the encrypted one stored in the database. This whole process is designed to be secure and user-friendly, ensuring that only authorized users can access their accounts. When we first sign in, we're greeted by the My Plants page. This is where all your plants are listed. And on each plant card, you've got both the plant's scientific name and a little nickname that you can give it yourself. They've all got their own profile pictures, and most importantly, you can see when it needs to be watered next. When you water a plant in real life, you can log it in the app, which then adds 20 reward points to your account and automatically schedules the next reminder based on that specific plant's needs. The app doesn't just silently do this in the background either. It will send you a push notification to your phone when it's time to water each plant. It's a living, growing collection that you can add to whenever you like. Users can add plants by clicking the Add Plants button at the bottom. Here they can input the plant name, the plant location and the plant nickname. If they don't know the plant name, they can choose this two different ways, one by a photo and one by an image. So if we click the photo, we can take a picture of the plant We can use that photo and then we can click the identify button. Now this will bring up several results um, and it'll give us a percent rating for how close it is. And we can see here we've got a 57% chance, about a 16% chance, etc. Now we take this 57% one, because this is definitely our plant, and we click on yes, this looks like my plant, and you can see it's populated the name in the plant name section. Now we can also go ahead and also choose from the gallery and we can see we've got one here we can do the same process identify it and again we get a couple of options we can see that first result really high percent score there so we're going to pick that one and we're going to give that a location and the nickname as well so it's going to be the bedroom and let's call it jeff and now we can click add plant and this will take us back to the My Plants page with that plant now added. Now we've seen that through the camera and through the gallery, we can also just search, search for a name. So we're going to search for Calathea. Not going to bother with a location or nickname this time. We're going to search for that and we can see we get several results here. Now we're going to go and add that peacock plant. And again, we can see this is now added to our My Plants list. Each plant, when added, generates its own profile where the user can read up on an in-depth care plan specific for that plant type. This includes guides on sunlight, watering and pruning. From this profile, a user can also mark that the plant has been watered, which updates the database enabling the next reminder to be set. A user can delete a plant in case they change their mind, or if the plant unfortunately dies, we have created a space for them. Simply move them to the plant graveyard for them to be immortalised in memory. Here you can see the plant has been moved to the plant graveyard, but if the user has discovered their plant has made a recovery and sprouted anew, they can simply revive it and bring it back to their plant list with a new lease of life. The newsfeed. You can think of it like your plant's own social media page, but way more useful. It keeps track of all your plant's different events. You've got the date that each plant was added to the app, when the plants were last watered, and when you need to water them next. 
but most importantly, it updates instantly. Every time you interact with your plants within the app, this newsfeed shows these changes right away. The user can look at their profile details by going to the My Profile tab. Here they can see their details of username, name, email address, their number of reward points, how many plants they owned and when they joined. They can also view their plant graveyard from here and they also have the option to sign out. And that's us for our demonstration. Thank you very much for listening.